Hello, so this is kind of the second part of my talk about container images for data analysis. Um, of course, container images are very useful for getting reproducibility uh, in your data analysis. With modern analysis, things are very complex often and end up uh, probably requiring different software stacks for each of the analysis steps. Now, ideally, one would build containers for each of those steps and then run the data analysis in a reproducible way um, on each of those containers, which is very well supported um, by all the modern workflow management systems. In practice, this has kind of two major issues. Um, one is the overhead for building all, the, all those images, which I've covered in the first part of my talk in the build uh, section of the conference. Um, second part is uh, the explosion of image variants. So when you, end, when you end up writing down uh, container image definitions for each of these steps, um, each of them requiring a certain a set of software tools in certain versions, imagine that uh, thousands of people do this, all the data scientists around the world, we end up, ha ha end up having a lot of images. And all those need to be built, they need to be maintained, and they need to be stored somewhere which is a lot of uh, a lot of um, not really sustainable uh, overhead that we ideally would want to avoid so what do people currently to work around this uh, this issue uh, is of course not using containers at all which hampers reproducibility so not a, not a good solution um second um uh, workaround would be um to just have one large container per analysis which, however, hampers transparency because you cannot easily see anymore um, what software what was particularly needed for each of the steps in the data analysis, and therefore it's not not so uh, accessible anymore. Okay, <coughs> so um, what one could do in, a, in in as an alternative is to um, define the software stacks like in a more high-level way than um, just writing down a Docker file, um, in the sense that you just say what software is needed and what versions of those software is needed. And then if we would have an API um, from a web service, like a REST API or something like that, that we could query for um, whether there are already container images that satisfy um, the required software stack that is that is defined in, this, in, in such a simple syntax as you see here, um, then we could just reuse that and as a developer we could decide well this is like suitable, suitably close to what I want to have or um, um, good enough for, for this step um, to reuse, this, uh, reuse it instead of building a container image from scratch. Uh, and this could also be a semi-automatic semi um, process when developing a workflow. Uh, one aspect that one should mention in this context is um, whether at all it's needed to define software stacks down to the point release of each software tool, especially like like look let's let's have a look at an, one example here, Matplotlib. Like if you want to plot a histogram, do you really need to define Matplotlib uh, is needed in version 3.2.1? Probably it's enough to just say I need Matplotlib 3 or I I need Matplotlib 3.2. And um, when we have a facility for finding container images based on such uh, such such uh, software stack definitions, you could easily say, okay, well that's good enough for me. I don't need to need to really pin down to the down to the patch version of the release. So we could maybe avoid the patch version. We could, for some cases, maybe even avoid the uh, the minor version. Um, so this is like dependent on, on the person who develops the workflow. And so, so bottom line, it would be great if there would be an API for uh, accomplishing these things. Like given the list of software tools in, in versions to define to whatever degree is needed for the particular data analysis step, please give me the container images that's, that satisfy these needs. And um, like being as minimal as possible, not containing any additional software or not too much additional software. And then people could easily reuse those steps, uh, those images, uh, instead of building new ones from scratch and thereby wasting a lot of storage. Thank you.